What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel, Riggs Gaming. We have something very special in store for you guys. Just and look, one thing I do want to put. Look at that. Look at this, you guys. Archer Queen going to level 29. Uh, let's not talk about the BK, he's still sitting at 21, but we're getting closer and closer to having that max level 30 Archer Queen. But we did just uh, wrap up a war against Assassin's Core over here in FYSB, getting a solid victory, 117 to 113. Don't even know the breakdown, we had 5 Town Hall 11s, I believe they also had 5 Town Hall 11s, I don't even know how many Town Hall 10s. But we did get a solid victory, and I got some incredible attacks to show you guys. Like you saw in the title and in uh, the thumbnail, this attack is actually going to be mine. Yes, Baby Riggs was in this war, and these how I'm telling you guys, these lava hounds would not pop. But check out, check out the army comp doing this one, uh, Town Hall Nine style using the Skelly Donut. There it goes. Uh, we had six skeleton spells of our own, plus the rage, and we had one donated maxed in the CC. This was a cleanup attack. I believe it was a damage CC, but we get the CC down, the enemy CC. We get enemy queen down. We go ahead and take out both of the expos. And wait till you guys see. Look at the guys. Look at these heroes. Level 28, 21, or 21, 28. Technically, you know, you say the king level first. 21, 28 heroes. Look at, look at this. The value from these heroes, I mean, they might as well have been 30, 30, you guys. Look at this queen still going. She is going to path right and check that out. I wasn't even expecting her. I promise you. I was not even expecting her to take out the air defense, but she ended up getting the job done. Popped the ability. We got the Tesla and the Archer Tower. Pretty much cleared that entire top section. Starting the Lalo over here at 9 o'clock. I cannot remember the last time, if maybe ever, where I've seen an attack where a single Lava Hound does not pop. But we start off with two Lava Hounds, both being the Camp Lava Hounds over there at 9 o'clock. We have the Max Lava Hound right here down at 6. I mean, you can clearly see with the uh, skelly donut inside that core we pretty much break the defensive ring inside the core and then the hero or we take the defense out in the core the heroes break the defensive ring clearly all of these loons are going to be pathing around the base going counterclockwise just trickling in these loons as he's and look no pups you guys we had three hounds on this attack look at how many pup or look at how many hounds are still up if you can see it we do in fact have three hounds i don't even know were there any seeking air mines were they all inside of the core i don't even know if i saw one let me know if you did down in the comment section below but check that out look at how many loons we have left up you guys and cleaning this base up we did have 10 maybe 11 minions thank goodness we brought that many or we would have ended up doing uh, getting a time fail all look at three lava hounds left up you guys not a single one popping hopefully you enjoyed that attack right there we'll go ahead and check out one more town hall nine attack i got three 10 v 10s to show you guys and we have which one was it this one right here very very unique attack and this was a fresh hit mine was a cleanup this being a fresh hit coming from uh atena etena not exactly sure how you're supposed to pronounce it but pretty much an all kill squad attack again. Kill squad's killing it right now at Town Hall 9. Uh, you can see Queen is starting over here at 11 o'clock where she is going to go ahead and path down, taking out all of these defenses over here. And we're using three golems on this entry. If you look down at the troop bar, only bringing six hogs to this attack. So clearly all of the spells are going to be used on this kill squad. Uh, once we see the funnel get set, Atina is going to go ahead and drop down a jump spell. There it goes. And we have one more jump spell to push all these troops into the back end. And similar to like you would on, like say at Town Hall 10 where you're doing like a queen walk bitch. Pretty much this queen taking out all the defenses right from over the wall. And all of the defenses uh, inside the core and just outside the core are getting taken out by this kill squad. There goes the heal spell set. A nice funnel getting all those bowlers inside the base. And the golems and king doing a great job tanking for those bowlers. Uh, and we have uh, the heal spell. 
healing everything up as they are approaching quite a few of these point defenses. And you can see right here just a couple defenses on the outside, a couple mortars. We had a Tesla over there between the Archer Tower and the Gold Storage just dropping down a couple hogs. Again, only bringing six hogs to this attack. Look, still have queen ability as well. Completely ended up wrecking this base, uh, doing a queen walk stoned entry, only bringing, not even a queen charge, bringing... Um, only six hogs incredible absolutely loved it and usually you see the queen walk kind of meet up with the kill squad but no this one got sent all on its own over there on the left hand side beautiful work coming from etna on that one uh and i'll go ahead and check out a few town hall 10 attacks wait till you wait until you guys see some of these starting off with rogers i will say again I, we had maybe nine maybe maybe 10 10 v 10s quite a few of those guys coming from falcon uh we know how popular and how overpowering that attack strategy is um but i want to show you guys something just a little bit different and check this one out kind of doing a hg what is this an h what would this be an hg lalo bowler attack wait until you guys see this with the giants coming in the kill squad uh getting more and more popular as we're seeing on bases that have a lot of value with the kill squad on a particular entry we're seeing a lot of those single shot inferno towers to kind of try to hinder something like a kill squad or a queen charge but bringing those giants will counter that perfectly and with a funky base definitely have to use a non-meta attack i mean it's kind of like hghb but instead of having hogs on the back end we have rogers using uh, a lalo and here goes the haste spell. I'm pretty sure that was supposed to be a rage. Uh, I do not think you're supposed to he uh, drop down a heal spell where there's no wizard towers. But ends up pretty much swagging that heal spell. Going to be nice and patient on where he wants to actually drop the rage. Uh, bringing five haste to this attack. And look, this base getting just completely overwhelmed with these balloons check this out saving that rage spell for uh these wizard towers on the back end and these balloons pretty much one shotting swagging that haste spell uh, to go ahead and take out uh these last two uh teslas beautiful attack from rogers something a little bit different uh we know that kill squad i just made a video on it uh we know that kill squads are completely wrecking at the town hall 10 level right now uh, definitely meta kill squads definitely meta uh, but switching it up bringing seven max giants to that attack uh, big shout out to rogers uh our, our he is definitely fysb's attorney inside the clan the asian lawyer and check this out you guys gotta tell me if you've ever seen an attack like this um i'm sure a thousand of you already have but i don't think i have wait till you guys see this insane i mean it's a it's a bit i mean it's a straight up bitch attack uh, again, using giants as opposed to using golems on this attack. But look, no flank up here at the top. What is going... I don't even know how you guys are breaking down these bases anymore. I, I guess I'm just old school at this point. But dropping down the jump spell. This this is like the craziest bitch I think I've ever seen. Uh, dropping down the jump spell, leading everything in. I mean, the spells are the same, but there's no look there's there's no flank over here troops just entering in right there into the core we do have a nice flank over here uh with all the air defenses on the upper right hand side of the base uh you can clearly drop down a healer to keep the bowlers and the witches healed up on this flank over here and then just these troops devastating the core of this base uh, and again dropping on that rage and the heal spell right there in the core and we have these uh bowlers doing work and good value from those rock skips uh and look at this it's like I, I don't even i don't even understand i don't even understand what is going on with town hall 10 anymore I, I'm, I'm being dead serious uh queen already used her ability uh, as she was approaching the CC, but everything is going to be uh, in range of this Archer Queen and uh, um, on this flank over here. Again, you guys got to explain to me how these bitch attacks are working. I, I don't even understand. Uh, but I mean, at the end of the day, a beautiful attack. I mean, we got all kinds of troops left up. It does get a little bit close on time, but have... Uh, um, Ollie definitely has more than enough to get through this base. All, look at all the skellies. We still have all kinds of witches. Sells the queen up. The healers healing the bowlers. Just completely wrecked it. I mean, I thought we'd do a bitch attack. You're supposed to have flanks on each side. You know, the troops are supposed to go up the middle. 
Ollie, I don't even know how you do it, but you did it. You got it done, and I absolutely love that attack. We're going to go ahead and jump up here. Like I said, we had a lot of Falcon attacks from this war. We're going to check out an actual HGHB coming from Pat. Again, Town Hall 10, I'm, I'm slowly and slow, not actually slowly, rapidly. I don't even understand Town Hall 10 anymore. These attacks are just getting so out of control. I love, I mean, I do, I, I love it at the same time, but it's like, I don't even know how to break. It's like, I don't even know how to break down a base anymore. HGHB, we got Pat going in and only using three healers. I thought you're supposed to use four, uh, but check this out, you guys. These giants, this kill squad gets so much value on this entry right here. We got king coming in. We got queen coming in. Beautiful funnel set. Uh, we have one bowler over here trying to get rock skips. Or uh, he got some rock skips, uh, but that cannon did uh, get the best of that bowler. We have a max poison going to go ahead and, or we have, uh, no, a level four poison going to go ahead and slow down the enemy CC, uh, which just out of range, but the queen ends up shooting the witch right there in the face. Hogs will be starting over here on the uh, right hand side at about 230. And look at this kill squad pretty much wiping out the entire bottom section of this base. One, uh, one inferno tower already down. And here comes the hogs coming in. Uh, we have three heal spells, so only using uh, those rages on the kill squad. Didn't even need a jump spell. Uh, we have three heal spells to help uh, get these hogs through this base. Uh, and another thing, no, no CC hogs and no camp bowlers. So the bowlers that went with this HGHB uh, entry, the kill squad entry, were just CC bowlers. I mean, sometimes you'll bring, bring CC bowlers and some of your own. Uh, or you'll just bring your own bowlers and then bring CC hogs, uh, but not on this one. I mean, ends up, I mean, ends up swagging a heal. Pat, Pat, you're freaking killing it, my friend. And if I'm not mistaken, Pat used to be a 10 v 11 guy. Now, now he's wrecking town hall 10 bases. So, so confused. But getting, look at what is go. Look at this. All of the freaking. I didn't even notice that till right now. The giants cleaning up on the builder hut. The giants ended up wrecking that base. They survived the whole raid, you guys. Those giants ended up surviving the entire raid. Absolutely loved it. We're we'll gonna go ahead and show you guys. We have three 11v11s. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys one of them. But real quick, look at Zip Trip doing work. Zip Trip getting the 11v11 six pack. Uh, the one on base number one was using like a, uh, the Queen Walk Bitch attack. So we're we'll gonna go ahead and show you guys a Lalo instead. We got wall breakers coming in here. They end up getting the wall pop, and we have a maxed golem uh, not coming out of the CC. This is a Town Hall 11. Uh, so bringing his maxed golem to go ahead and tank for these bowlers and the queen. I'm pretty sure he wanted queen to go ahead and head inside, and there she goes. I thought she was going to head back up, but she ends up making the U-turn and meeting up with the kill squad. Poison, go ahead and uh, take care of the CC. We do still have queen ability, and he is going to be using that Grand Warden. Notice he did not use the Grand Warden for the kill squad. That will be for the flight portion. Uh, and we have one air defense already taken out, as well as multiple. I mean, we got Inferno Tower down, an air defense down, as well as a few other air targeting defenses before he goes ahead and start this, starts the this solo up here at 12 o'clock. Flying in another hound over here at 10. Uh, and they'll be tanking uh, these air defenses for these loons very, very nicely. We still have two skeleton spells uh, that he's going to be using on the queen. Uh, under rage, ends up one-shotting uh, the eagle artillery. They're going to collapse uh, on that Grand Warren statue. Hay spell just pushing these loons through this base. Uh, already has minions to help clean up. Uh, the rest, uh, the, the top side where he started the flight portion has one more hay spell. Uh, and notice he doesn't even have a heal spell, but look at these loons. He has more loons than you think right here. Plus he has the HP buff from the Grand Warren ability. And he pops the ability right there to push these loons to get through the expo to get through the tesla to get through those uh wizard towers down there ends up completely wrecking this base zip trip with the 11 11 six pack let me know what you guys think of the attacks featured in this video hopefully you guys enjoyed it and fysb getting the victory right before we uh match with a uh, grumpy old men uh, for CWO week nine, only a few wars left before the regular season wraps up. Uh, but FYSB getting a solid victory, the final 117 to uh, Assassin's Core 113. Again, let me know what you guys think of the attacks. Incredible attacks uh, from Town Hall 9, Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11. 
I mean, I'm so lava hounds don't even pop anymore. I don't again. I don't even know what's going on. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new here. Thank you for those of you that have been supporting me from the very beginning. Cannot thank you guys enough. Comments, questions, or concerns down in the comments section below. And that's going to do it for this video. Rigs Gaming. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next one.